Hello YouTube, I'm Dr. Tactical and the doctor will see you now. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the new CZ Shadow 2 Compact. So, as many of you know, I just recently acquired the Staccato um, CS and have been preaching how much I really love that. Uh, it's sort of in and out with my um, SIG P229, uh, the Legion SAO that I uh, carry intermittently. Uh, so, it, it, they're sort of neck and neck, those two guns. I love them both two very high quality guns. The question is, do I need this new CZ Shadow 2 Compact? All right, before we get into all the suspense, yes, obviously I need it. Um, I don't think it's on the registry here in Maryland yet, uh, but I have been very carefully uh, watching and, 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 and looking out for this gun. Um, let's face it, when a gun shop sees me coming, this is what they say. Hello, YouTube. I'm Dr. Now, part of that's my fault because I post a bunch of really nice guns that I go out and acquire, uh, but also a lot of them saw the previous video where they saw so the uh, Dr. Tactical merch, which is just taking over the market now, which, by the way, you can get it right here at drtactical.com. Um, anyway, uh, so they figure the money's just pouring in from there, you know, on top of all the obvious YouTube money that, um, as everybody knows, gun YouTubers really draw in. So the question is, why? Why would I consider this gun? You know, I, I, I obviously have a taste, I've acquired a taste for some high-end guns. I gotta thank some of my friends that I shoot with for dragging me along that road. Um, I was very happy with my Glocks back in the day. Um, and I still, I still uh, enjoy them. So, interestingly, a lot of people think that I started out with my high-end guns on the uh, XC. And... The XC is the first gun that I bought really strictly for fun. Um, I just was excited about it. I, I shot my friend Lewis's, and Lewis always cost me money. Um, and, you know, next thing I know, I, ha I had to have one. My friend Ron fell into the same category. Um, <laughs> It, it, it's it's a it's an infectious thing these these expensive guns, but this is not where I started um, with high-end guns. As many of you may know, and most of you probably don't, um, I am a competitive shooter. I am a competitive shooter the same way Bob Euchre was a baseball player. Um, I l love it, and if love made me good, I'd be awesome at it. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't translate into talent. But I really, really enjoy it, even though I haven't until recently been able to get out there and do it very often. My daughter's a lacrosse player, and she has pretty much ruined my life by dragging me out. In fact, my plan is now that she's finally getting ready to go to college, I, when I start doing my USPSA matches, I'm gonna make her come and watch me um, and rain and shine. Anyway, uh, so, this is the CZ Shadow 2, the orange model. This is my, um, well, this is actually my second competitive gun. The first gun, all guns have been cleared, safety checked, and the, no, no mags. Um, anyway, so this is my Glock 34, um, which I just got just to see if I was going to enjoy competition. Of course I enjoyed competition. It's fun. The people who compete are fun to hang out with. It's a, Those of you who haven't tried um, doing USPSA or any of these other, you know, f uh, formal shooting matches, ASI and what have you, IDPA, um, 
do it. It's just a fun group of people. Um, you know, shooting's an interesting sport. People, um, there's a lot of camaraderie, and people want to see each other do well. Don't get me wrong, we still want to win, <laughs> but uh, but they want to see other people improve because we want to see shooting increase in, in, in America. All right, anyway, so back to the CZ. Going from the Glock to the CZ Shadow 2 was like, God, I mean, it's like going from, uh, remember the Renault Le Car <laughs> back in the uh, 80s to a uh, Carrera, a Porsche Carrera. I mean, it's, it's, it's apples and orangutans. This gun is just, it, it's very heavy and it's a very smooth shooting gun and it's a double action, single action. So that is what separates the, the shadow, the CZ shadow from my line of um, staccatos here. We got the XC, then we have the C2, which I thought was gonna be my carry gun, but really was a little um, hefty for me. Um, and then the uh, CS, which I'm currently loving, except for the beaver tail that keeps poking me. I always complain about the beaver tail. This thing's got a hell of a beaver tail too. Um, Anyway, that's for conceal. That's not really an open carry problem. And, and most of the competing I do is with open carry. So this, uh, the CZ Shadow 2, just, it's, it's just a shooter. Now the double action, single action lends itself nicely, I think, to, um, to, uh, to conceal carry. Um, you know, this does have a safety for cocked and locked. But one problem with it, and I'll tell you, you know how you know you made it on on uh, YouTube? I'll tell you. You made it on YouTube when you get some haters. Dr. Tactical has some haters now. So I had some people bitching the other after the last video because I did lower the hammer um, and, you know, and was showing how, how I would lower the hammer on a live round. When you're competing, the, the only way I know how to do this, because you have to compete in double action, um, first, your first shot, and then go to single action. You're in USPSA. I use this gun in production, um, and in production, the gun is pretty much how it comes from the factory. You really can do very minimal changes to the gun. Uh, no optic on this, obviously. Now this won't take an optic, but interestingly, the new uh, CZ Shadow 2 Compact is squared off in the back a little bit, and there it is designed to have a optic should you choose to put one on. I thought when I switched to, to red dots that I was always going to um, have an optic, but I have to say when I got the CS, I chose not to put an optic on it. I feel that it carries way nicer. It, it can go down lower into a holster. Uh, I mean, obviously a holster design, but but the, the um, it just it just conceals better, I think, without the without putting an optic. And the CS is, or at least this one is optic cut. But I made a conscious decision to sort of move away from that, and I'm doing the same thing with this uh, with this Shadow 2 Compact. I think even though it is cut out for an optic, I probably won't get one because I'm so used to the the sights and everything on the iron sights on the Shadow 2 um, Orange here. So, let's see. Yeah, you know, the gun is flashy, obviously, and that's because it's a competition gun. Although I have to say, the compact version that's coming out from CZ is also flashy, and it's really designed as a concealed carry gun. Getting back to the double action for just a moment, though. But no, let's stay on the flashy part for a sec. Um, you know, I, when I compete in anything whether it's golf. If you ever saw me come out to play golf, you would look at me and be like, wow, that is a good golfer. Look at look how nice his clubs are. Look how, how well dressed he is for, for the sport. Uh, if you ever saw me skiing, skis look amazing. The, uh, the bindings look good, great boots, nice uh, outfit, usually a very uh, 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 fun hat. Those don't make you good at what you're doing. I'm a horrible golfer. I'm a even worse skier. Um, shooting, I enjoy, uh, but it's fun. To, you know, the flash is fun. Well, anyway, they did still carry the flash through to the um, the uh, compact. Now, the thing with the compact is, it's it's actually aluminum, I believe. The uh, 
the frame, so it's actually much, much lighter. That's going to be interesting. I have not shot it, and I'm curious because the CZ Shadow 2, one of the things that really makes this gun the shooter that it is, is the weight on this thing. This thing is heavy, and when you shoot it, you come right back down. It just, just the sheer weight of it brings this, brings that barrel down for your second shot. Um, but anyway, let's go. I, I promise to go back to the uh, double action trigger. So the problem with the double action. One is once you have put one in the chamber, you now have a cocked gun with a, with a loaded chamber. Now I was mentioning in the competition, you have to get that hammer down before you put it in your um, holster. So the only way I know to do that is to grab the hammer on both sides, pull the trigger, and bring bring it down, and then and then holster it. Now, I was saying, I caught a lot of flack for that, showing that uh, last time, but I truly don't know another way to do it. Um, there is no decocker on the shadow. And it's my understanding that the purpose for that, the reason for that, is that it affects the trigger. Um, the trigger on this is is beautiful, it's golden. And, they, and, and CZ made the decision, as I understand it, to the trigger is king and, and, and that's what wins competitions. So for that reason, the um, there you know, you've got that one moment there where you have to decock it if you're gonna carry this in double action, which probably is how I would carry it. Um, and by the way, the double action trigger on this is money. It is really nice. Um, single action is even better. So it's a it's just a, a, a really nice shooter. But that's something you have to keep in mind because if you're going to load this thing every day, you that just increases the risk if you're going to be manually decocking. Now I show a lot of stuff on YouTube, and I don't mean to come across as an authority. I am a gun enthusiast. I love guns. I really, really enjoy it, and hopefully that comes out, you know, comes through to people watching. But I'm certainly not an expert, and I know a lot of people that are, and I watch other people that are. And that's where the comment section is so valuable. Because if people know better ways to decock this um, with a loaded round in there, I am, I'm open to it. And I'm sure that other people watching this would like to read that too. So I, I, you know, it's, a, it's a nice media that, medium that we have that we can communicate. So anyway, this doesn't need to be a long video. Question, am I gonna uh, get the C, uh, CZ Shadow 2? Uh, compact, of course I'm going to get it. I can't help myself. Please buy the merch so that I can afford this stuff. Um, and thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all shortly. I'm Dr. Tactical. Dr. Tactical, out.